The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by It might not be the most flashy gift idea, but investing in a financial planner can help benefit the people we love. Here to explain how is Gretchen Beal, a financial services professional with the Connor Group. Thanks for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. So great to be here. <laughs> so Valentine's Day is upon us. How can we help those that we love, like how I kind of tease? Well, so a lot of people don't think of life insurance as being for your loved ones, but I would say that it is exactly about the people that you love. Now, for a lot of people, they think they need enough to pay off a mortgage or their student loans or credit cards. But really and truly, if you start to take into account how it's going to affect the people that mean the most right. to you, it really makes a big difference. It, really it covers is. final expenses, medical expenses. But more importantly, the standard of living that you two were able to have together. Like, if you start to think about it, if you had just lost your spouse, would you want to have to work harder and more hours to maintain your home in the same standard of living? Or would you want to have the resources to ensure that that economic value, that standard of living that you brought to your family was still available regardless of what might have happened to you? Right. It does take thought and effort for sure. So we have a graphic that you sent to us about economic value. So if you take a look at this, kind of the younger you are, the more years that you want to make sure that you're covering, the bigger the number that you need to get in terms of life insurance. Okay. Now you, you're not going to be able to necessarily figure that out just on your own. That's why it's so helpful to talk to someone who is an insurance professional to help guide you through that process. More importantly, what you need when you're young or have young kids is totally different from what you need when you're older. So there's multiple types of life insurance you can get that you can layer in to meet all of your different needs. Okay, so we have another visual, kind of like a rent versus buy. Can you explain what that means? Absolutely. Most people know kind of group term insurance that they can get through work. But what happens if you lose your job and don't have benefits or you become sick and can't work anymore? Having insurance that you own personally is so important. Renting would be like temporary or term insurance. Buying would be permanent or whole life insurance. Now, term insurance is relatively inexpensive and can give you a big bang for your buck, especially when you need a lot of coverage. But permanent insurance is really powerful because you're essentially buying in. Right. And you're building cash value inside of it that can offer so many additional benefits as well. Okay, and we're going to stop you right there because if people want more information, I mean, we've just covered the surface, but uh, Gretchen Beadle, her information is up on the screen. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you.